Hello, welcome to my latest video, it's me the Game Encrypt, and in this video I'm doing a quick comparison of these two mouse mats that I have here. So, I had the Speed Edition, it's the Razer Goliath of Speed Edition that I had, and then, you know, because I've just got into, like, sort of keyboard and mouse gaming, um, and switched from a controller, you know, I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to keyboards and mouses and whatever, but, you know, I've been using one for just a little over a year now, and I wanted to, like, get the best, and have the best setup going for being able to control and have more control when using a mouse as I'm not the most accurate of players so it turned up this morning it's the Razer Goliathus control edition and I had been using the speed edition so I wanted to get the most control and I thought you know maybe there's a difference between the speed and the control and in this video I just want to quickly tell you about some of the differences that I've found straight away right off the bat between these two mouse mats and whether I think it's worth getting the control edition and whether I think it's worth getting the speed edition also. So the control edition is the mouse mat on the end. It's the one that my mouse is currently on. And the speed edition is the one next to it. Um, overlaid on top of it. So I can quickly jump between the two and compare them in real time when playing a game. So right out of the box, when you get the control edition uh, mouse mat, you can really just tell that there's a difference between the two texture wise. The control edition has a textured surface. It's more rough. It makes more friction when you go across it. And it feels like it's got loads of little dots or little grooves implemented into it. And that makes the mouse glide over it at a sort of slower pace and a more controlled pace. Whereas if you if you look at the, the Razer um, Speed Edition mouse map, it's more of a tightly knit nylon sort of, sort of shinier surface that the mouse can just slide straight across with ease now you can still slide the mouse easily across the uh, control edition but just not as much um, and it, ultimately it just makes for more controlled movements especially if you're not a pro with a keyboard and mouse you know I'm not the sort of person who plays Battlefield or Counter-Strike Go with a keyboard or mouse I would always need to still use a controller with them games um, I started a couple of years ago using a keyboard and mouse and learning I taught myself to play with a keyboard and mouse playing DayZ and um, for the first while long while playing that game I still had to look down and think oh where's WASD and everything like that so this review is gonna or this comparison rather is gonna sort of be from a uh, someone who's not an expert at using a keyboard and mouse's perspective and you need to keep that in mind and bear that in mind because <clears throat> the control edition is great for me because I'm not a pro, I don't play the games I just mentioned. I can't accurately just put turn around, do a 180, and put the mouse or the crosshair straight on someone's face and get them. Yeah, anyway, I'm I'm you know going down the road of hopefully being able to do that soon. But at the moment, as a noob, if you will, um, someone who's only been playing like this for a couple of years and is more used and familiar to a controller, the control edition, hands down, <clears throat> to me, is the mouse mat that. I am going to be using I'm going to be giving the other one to my friend because it's just you know although the speed edition is very good it feels like it was more designed for a someone who's uh, you know more advanced someone who can snap and turn around and put it straight on it as you can see here I'm just going around this window um, now I'm using the speed before that I was just using the control and the speed edition jumps for me it's like it, it sometimes goes way off and you know does some sort of frantic movement that I didn't mean to do and that's probably because I'm not used to using a mouse as much as say a pro gamer or someone who's been doing it for years but as you can see you know with the with the um it's hard to show you just by doing this comparison just on my desktop so I'm going to go into the game in a second but <clears throat> the movements just feel more accurate to me with the control um, I'm able to really slowly move accurately around with the control. The movements are really fine, whereas it seems to just do rash, quick, sharp turns with the Speed Edition. Um, so, you know, it all depends what you're looking for. I would say that if you are um, someone who's been using a keyboard and mouse for a long time, and you're quite good, probably the Speed Edition would be more for you. If you're someone who really, you know, is not that used to it and just getting into it, you know, and still wants a great mouse mat, both of these mouse mats are great, but I would definitely go with the control. 
So the speed is like snapping from point A to point B, whereas I feel personally the control version of the Goliath's mouse mat is rather than going quickly to B, is traveling there with the mouse. You know, that's how I feel. You've got more control in between points where you're aiming. I hope I've done a good job at explaining that. I've tried my best, um, but you know, just you know, if you if you wanna if you want more control, I mean, the name's in the mouse mat itself. Control versus speed, but the control gives you control and speed as well. So I just feel personally, anyway, that the control is a much better surface. It's a much better um, mouse mat or pad or whatever you will. Um, and I really, en I'm really enjoying it, and it, it really has improved my aiming and accuracy. So here I'm playing H1Z1, if you wondered. And you know, sometimes you need to get someone with a sweet headshot, uh, you know, with a with an arrow using a bow and arrow. And um, with the with the control version of the Goliathus, it is easier to do that, hands down. Um, you know, I'm a little bit all over the place slightly when using the speed. It does speed up your mouse movements. And if you want more control, the last thing you want to do is have a mouse mat that speeds up something when you're trying to control it. So as you can see, I'm switching between the speed and the control here, and I'm just yeah I'm just confirming what I already know it's a lot easier to control with the control it feels I can keep it more level I can stay on a target better I can go for that sweet headshot with the speed as you it instantly it's just moving a little bit more all over the place for me anyway and you know that's pretty much all I can say about it you know I've done my best to explain it here and um, if you're looking for a good mouse mat overall they're both great mouse mats um, so just pick what one you think you want speed or control so this is my mouse map, this is the Razer Goliathus Extended Control Edition and this is it with my keyboard and mouse on it on my desk. You know, and you get this nice um, thing sort of woven into the edge of the mouse map to stop it fraying up, you know, over lots of use. And that's pretty cool, because um, a lot of mouse mats do sort of start flipping up as you keep using them. It happened to my last one, which is a hard sort of mouse map before these two. So this is the one I'm going to stick with. I'm really happy with it. It gives me the control I need. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Hope it helped someone. And uh, peace out. See you in the next one.